Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us today. It's National Woman's Month, so what better than to have a shining example of what woman is? We have, she is a philanthropist. She has a heart of gold. And she has more knowledge about avian than either one of me and Jonas could ever hope to have. I don't even know what avian means. That's cool. You're, I'm, you're, I'm a liar. I do. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I want to introduce to you a very special guest, Charlie, What's to the up? podcast. What's Welcome. Up, I knew I was invited for being the white woman perspective that y'all needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's not National White Woman's Month. It's <laughs> yeah. National Woman's National Month. Woman's. I already have a key to the mothership. We yeah. do not need another it's, key to the mothership. Exactly. <laughs> we already got diversity on the podcast. <laughs> But no, I, I'm glad that you brought the racial joke to the to the podcast before I did. Honestly, that shows a lot of promise. Yeah, yeah. We might need to more to come. More often. More, more to, come. to come. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, I told you. <laughs> That's a road that I don't walk down. Uh, so, so, so I hear that you have a lot of avian knowledge, and you were talking to us about feral parrots. Okay. So, so I'm yeah. curious about this. Okay, this is crazy. So in Austin. There are these Quaker parrots. They're also known as monk parakeets. They're nothing like real parakeets. Oh, like, parak! I thought you said parrots. Like no, they are Quaker parrot. Okay, but their okay, their other name is monk parakeet. Okay, I don't know what the I don't know who calls what, but they're the green the green parrots. You've heard them. <laughs> Have you heard? You that? know, I heard them. I mean, I hear them all the time. But like, like they're at the Give domain. Me, what noise do they make? They're, well, I'm not going to. Oh, we thought you know we'd get you on that. I can't do that. You know, you know I can't do that. Okay. They make a parrot but, noise. But they make really great pets because they can talk really well, and that's why a lot of people buy parrots. And in Austin, they can thrive, actually. Like, the winter doesn't really bother them. Okay. Anymore. And they're everywhere. They've been multiplying, I think, the first colony or, like, somebody released it as a pet. Yeah. And then another person released it as a pet. Absolutely. And then they started, started like, breeding. Doing bird babies. Yeah. And they're, like, there's thriving colonies here so what makes them invasive necessarily because usually it's something that's deemed invasive when it has like a, a detrimental effect on the ecosystem exactly so what do they do how do i they, don't know how do they, uh, <laughs> you're like, just, i agree but i don't know why i was just wondering what made them invasive they're, they're like, not from they're not even from america like they're from like yeah australia yeah. south america are they or like something? calling people slurs or like shitting on people's windows that, or that something that's be. how shitting they're on people's windows that definitely could be the thing that could yes be. but they like come in and they take away native birds uh, population, their food, their habitats. So uh, usually, if something's not, not from here, like you got like the lantern fly, you have like the, the fact that there's no bees really anymore. That bees are dying off because of the uh, the Japanese ones that are coming into the country. Is and, that what's happening? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that a real? This is this is real stuff. Racist. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese bees. Wow. No, this the is Japanese real stuff, Japanese are man. coming in. The, be <laughs> the Japanese bees are coming in and killing all the all the regular bees, man. When's the last time you saw a bee? Like yesterday. Yeah. Malarkey. Yeah. This. this I mean, how do I tell sure. the difference between a Japanese bee and a regular bee? Well, the the Japanese bees are the big bees, and then they go into the. the you literally. For no, are you bees. not seeing this? He's holding his hands up as big as a football. It's <laughs> like <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> what a football is this? You yeah. ain't Dak Prescott. This is a it's like a size. It's of like, like a, a seven inch submarine sandwich it's from like Jimmy a John's. Hot dog. What bee is that size? Is exactly. my exactly. <laughs> So you know when you see one. The one who eats your soul because it's a, <laughs> as big as a goddamn sub. Yeah, You think I'm kidding, man. People at home are like, Dynamite's talking real stuff. I want to know what, what these parakeets, do you have one of them? No, I have regular parakeets. You, you do have birds yeah. of your own. Yeah, what I kind do. Of, what kind of regular parakeets are there? So they're also known as budgeriggers. Okay. Budgies. Are they bloodborne? No, they're like cute little guys like cute little you birds. see them at petco don't buy the petco ones though what They're do they do terrible. To them? they buy them from really bad breeders and they all end up dying do you breed them no well oh my god don't even get me started wait have you tried to breed them and she, failed? no she my, showed me eggs on her phone my girl bird will not stop laying eggs and she is on lupron injections which are hormone shots because, to stop the eggs? yes because she won't stop laying eggs and it can be really bad for them and actually lupron my mom took Lupron when she had okay. to get her ovaries out. So wow. it's like legit. Okay, wait. So like, do you like eat them for breakfast? The eggs. Parakeet eggs? <laughs> no, it's, it's like the about. size of a coin. Hey. I've broken it open though to see What's the yolk. It? You it broke like, it and opened it? 
Yeah, because it's cute. You abort- do you percolate them? <laughs> do you percolate them on a heating pad to like turn them into babies? No, God, no, no. And I don't let. So I have a boy bird too. I have two girls and a boy, and Uh-oh, one of the girls the and boy are like a bonded pair, and they love each other. And I've it's been months. I've had to keep them separated, and so Wait, she's so on. You're, the- you, you're like Romeo and Julietting them. You're like keeping yes, them exactly. separated. Yes. Which one's the Montague? You know, it's been years. I don't know. I don't even remember that's either. The girl Capula. or the boy? <laughs> that's the girl. Wow. So you Monica, have to like separate them. They're star-crossed lovers because yeah. of Charlie. Yeah. Why do you have to separate them? They are hormonal. Because they will not stop. Yeah. Boinking. Yeah, boinking. What is pair mounting? Boinking Ma- they happen? mount the boy. The oh, they boy mount. gets on top. You know, that's actually and they flutter the wings real fast and stuff. Birds evolutionary have lost their penis. Did you know that? <laughs> How do they? I've learned oh that too. God. How do they pl- implant their bird seed? Oh no pun intended. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> bird, was. Eyes are rolling. It hey, it fits though. It was, it How do they get their bird seed good. to each other? The, there's a cloaca. <laughs> oh yep. Jinx. Wow, y'all are like straight up <laughs> bird boinking. God, you don't I mean, know, you know bird anatomy? Yeah, I mean, basic. basic I left. I, I was stuff. absent that week in high school. I it's had like, the flu. You did a lot the of older I've then. gotten. Well, excuse me, I've never done drugs ever. Do not put that in my mouth. Yeah, you, okay. You put it all in your mouth on your own, buddy. Excuse? Didn't take much. much How did coke. this become a drug? Right. All of a sudden, I'm a junkie. Get out of here. I mean, you know. uh, birds. <laughs> yeah, we're back on birds now. Bird coculas or whatever they're called. Cloaca. <laughs> Cloacula. It's like Dracula. Bird coculas. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you're Ooh. keeping your birds apart so they don't have coitus. So I know that birds can be hormonal. Uh, do they ever like uh, show any outbursts towards you? Do they ever get like violent? No, no, they love each other too much. But towards I'm you, just they're the, the mom. You're just the mom. But if you're pulling yeah. them apart, aren't they mad at you for that? No, nah. no, nah, they're they're not. They're I mean, good. they're smart, but they're not that smart. Yeah, they're not that smart. They're birds. Okay. Have, have you ever wait? Thought, go oh, ahead. Two I was questions. Gonna say, have you ever thought about getting uh, a larger bird? Um, yes, a Quaker for sure. What's yeah. a the, the feral ones. You want to just to, steal you want one? A muskox, a musk. Uh, what do you call them? A musk keep Muscovy duck. What's, no. the, what's the one on the Tommy <laughs> Bahama logo? Like the like those are are those macaws? The what logo? I don't know. If it's even Tommy He's Bahama. talking about the macaw. Snake. That's he, it's, he's that's about like the... most common parrot. When yeah. you think of a parrot, you think of a macaw. Okay. Like yeah. the the blue and yellow, or the red, red and green, and yellow, or yeah, yeah whatever. The ones that Is that you what you're gonna my, get? Minecraft. No, God, no. They, those live to be like eighty, and you have to like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's just such a time commitment. It's it like is. owning a toddler for eighty years. Like they're they, different than they're different than normal pets. Uh, owning man. a yeah. toddler, it really like is. eighty years. You have to be home all the time. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Parakeets, I can leave for like a week and they're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, switching gears, you it. also have a snake. I do have a snake. Can I tell the story? How Did I found you find it in a river? Or something? Yeah, I found him. I found Please him. Please tell the story. Wait. You okay. Have okay. A rabid wild feral snake as a pet. I like the feral animals, I guess obviously. So, yeah. No, so I uh, used to live in Portland. Whoa, okay. that is Shout out. a lot. Pacific Northwestern yes. wild snake. And, and uh, I was working downtown, and in the parking garage, it was like October. I was I had hopped into this new office that I was helping out at, and I pulled in the parking garage, parked my car, and there's I get out of the car, and there's a snake on the ground. And I don't know anything about snakes, and so I'm terrified. And then I'm like, oh, this new office is pulling a prank on me. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber snake on the ground because he wasn't moving. Rubber snake. So then I go upstairs and I introduce myself, whatever. And I'm like, that you guys really scared me with that rubber snake. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, there's a snake <laughs> in the parking garage. Like, that wasn't real. And it, it was very real. So I ended up keeping him. How long was the wait, snake? Wait, how did you go from ha ha to I rubber know. snake to I took him home? Well, I sent a picture to my mom and then she showed a coworker and her coworker was like, oh, that's a ball python. They're actually like really nice. Oh, okay. They're All good right. pets. I was going to ask so, what kind of snake it was. Yeah. Because I imagine if python. it was like a, you know, a coral snake, you probably would have left it there. Or, you know, like a poisonous or something. But downtown Portland doesn't have poisonous snakes so i've never known yeah. downtown portland to have ball pythons. i didn't know any urban that area too. to have downtown snakes <laughs> it seems like yeah. especially portland being so north that doesn't seem like a safe place for a no snake. not at all yeah he would have died really quickly in the cold he was in uh you know they're cold-blooded so like it was october so it wasn't warm i wonder if he was just like scared and afraid like someone just left him well we think he had like crawled into a car like engine and then it was a parking garage so he crawled out when he got too cold or something. Interesting. Yeah. 
Okay. What do you feed so them? I, uh, small rats, but I buy them frozen because I don't. I can't do the like. Oh, you thing. can't do the like smash I, them in the bottom of the. Smash? Kit. No, not smash. You like throw them, <laughs> throw them down to like so they are incapacitated. I'm confused. As well. I would never. Oh my god. So you, like, you're fine with giving him already dead rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't want to be the reason they're dead. They've been lab frozen. Uh, what's the word? Humane. Nicely, humanely, humanely. Humane. Well, they do put them to sleep and then sl slide them. Into hey, the I fridge. don't know the working. It's, it's a big business. Vegan. It's a big business. We should get in on that. <laughs> <Let's start. laughs> it's funny. A running joke on the podcast is that's the business we should get yeah, into. It is. And, and it's that's a, the business we should get into. Frozen dead rats. <laughs> Frozen rats. <laughs> humanely it. freezing. We'll just have, we'll line the crazy town compound with freezers. We'll just humanely like drug them with some bourbon. Exactly. Slide them in. Get I don't want any text. part of that. I'll be the office manager. You just said we should get into the business. Yeah, the, the, the money the part of it. Of the money. Not the killing part of it. <laughs> She's more of an ideas guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me a cut. I'm the idea man. <laughs> the idea, idea woman. Jeez. And hey, I mean, yeah, I'm in. woman. What woman, else? What remember? else do you have to say about any closing words on snakes or birds? Uh. Any any suggestions? <laughs> any suggestions? That's all I, have I, like, to say. I like that. <laughs> any suggestions on people who may be thinking about getting a snake? Oh my or god! Bird? Don't get a bird. Like okay. honestly. Okay. That's I'm good. such a bird person, and any friends I have that come over, they don't know anything about birds. They think they do, and it's such a commitment. Budgies are fine, but people are like, I want to pair it because they talk, and they're silly. It's no. a lifetime. Yeah, they don't. Not all of them talk. It's like crazy. It's so different from owning a dog. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. But they're the best pets ever. Why? Because they're just easy and they're so cute. You just said and don't get one and then he said I know. Easy. Bro, it's like marriage. It's like it's got the highest highs but the yeah. lowest lows. It's, it's, it's a very hard thing to do, but it, it pays off when it pays it's off. It's so hard. Yeah, They're Mar adorable. Married people. I would never. Yeah. yeah. I meant that for wives and birds. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Same. I don't want no wives over here. Yeah. <laughs> no wives. Yeah. No. I don't want a wife either. Yeah. Fair all much. right. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Charlie. Uh, we out.